right, man. So you have lost, tell the people how much weight you've lost overall. It was about 140 pounds, 150 pounds. Okay. Now, over like how much time? Because that's, that's a lot of weight. That's like two children. Yeah. yeah. It okay. took about three years um, total going to the gym and eating right. Okay. Yeah. What's eating right? So essentially what I did, I ate more of natural foods, maybe like veggies, um, meats, um, no processed food, no chips, no candy, no fast food. Uh, that stuff um, expensive. Um, in addition to it's real bad for you. I mean, every now and again to eat it, that's okay. Um, but it's more so over mind with ma over matter. Um, you have to have the willpower. You can want to do it, but if you don't put that forth that effort, if you don't put it in your mind, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna happen. So you have to put it in your mind. In order for me to get where I want to be, I gotta do this. The way I thought of it is kind of like medicine. Um, sometimes you have to take medicine. Of course, we don't like the taste of it. Um, food, certain food does bring about certain nutrition. So, nutri nu I'm country, nutrients. That <laughs> motherfucking word. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you have to just think of it, hey, I'm doing this for my health. It's not just about the taste. Okay. All right. Did so, I no, you oh, didn't okay. ramble at all. That's, no, you answered the question that people need to know. So, you said that it's more about your health and not about kind of what it tastes like. That's a big, my big problem, y'all, is sweets. Mine um, too. Dessert. Okay, Mine yours too. too. So, how do you fight that urge of something that you know is going to taste so good, but it's going to be so bad for you? How do you fight the urge? Well, you just think of the, the you, you think when, when you're eating it, you looking for so more so for the immediate satisfaction of it okay. um and you have to think long term if i eat this what's going to eventually happen when it come down to it is this going to be good for me is it going to get me back to where i was or get me where i need to be so if you're thinking if for immediate satisfaction you're never going to be able to to do what's quote unquote right you have to think of the long term and sometimes you just got to eat it don't deprive yourself um just do it in moderation um, I started slowing down. So I didn't immediately stop myself. I slowed down until I got to the point where it became the norm. And at that point, I no longer craved those kind of foods. Do you think it's possible to quit something, like in terms of changing your eating, do you think that it's possible to just like do a complete 180 shift? Because I know for me, it's, it's like you said, I have to give myself something because if I just kind of take it all the way out, I'm just going to end up really messing up on the diet unless I put it in there every now and then. Um, I personally and other people could feel different, but I personally feel as if it's a process. It's just like with anything else you're doing in life. You can't just step out here and you know nothing about something and feel as if you're just going to conquer it and kill it. No. You have to ease out into it. That way, when you actually get your feet wet, you know exactly what you're doing. So I personally feel as if it's a process. Okay. Tell us about when that process started for you. Like, when did you know that this was something that you wanted to pursue in terms of getting healthier, dropping some weight, um, changing your lifestyle? Well, I've always had issues with my weight. I've always Same. wanted to lose weight. I've always wanted to be smaller. What really changed my mind is when my mom passed away. My mom died from complications of health issues. She had a, a couple of different things wrong with her and she succumbed to it. So I felt as if my mom was the most strongest, most important person in the world. And if she could die, I'm not no better. So I could die too. So I need to get myself together. I'm going to be next. So I went to the doctor, I got myself tested for everything possible, and I was fine. And I felt as if at that point, God gave me a second chance. Mm -hmm. So I remember I came home, I had a roommate at that point. I came home and I told my roommate, I was like, you know what, I'm going to lose this weight. And I immediately just basically changed my mindset when it came to food, that no food has the satisfaction to um Make me want to die. I don't want to die for a cheeseburger or for right. uh, 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 some pizza or something. It's just not worth it. Right. And so I had to begin to treat food as that in order for me to get where I needed to be. 
Even I'm not there now. I'm not, I'm not there yet in this totality, but in order for me to get where I am now. You said that, you know, you're not really where you want to be yet. Um, but you've come very, very far. Shout out to you, my boy. You're good on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What can I definitely. Do? All right, so let's say, you know, you reach your goal. What does that look like? Well, this is the shallow part of me. People come out and judge me. Yeah, a lot of us have it. They just don't admit it. Yeah, and I admit my shit. But uh, <laughs> you cuss on your show, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, as this kid friendly, I don't damn know. No. You fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Just making sure. laughs> you fine. You fine. But I've always wanted a flat stomach. Like okay. I've always wanted a flat stomach. And so that's is my most that's my hardest thing to get rid of. My stomach is hard. Like that's that's been my struggle. Because we know when we eat sweets, that's where it sits. It goes and hangs out at the stomach around the waist. Mm -hmm. And so that's been my crack, essentially. No offense to any crackheads out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, bro. <laughs> but, um, so, what the fuck was I talking about? You were talking about, <laughs> you were talking about how you want to have that flat stomach. Oh, yeah. Sweet side yeah. of the See, I'm laughing, but I'm on it, y'all. Book yeah. me. I'm the host with the most. Let's yeah, go. I do. I mean, I... But, <laughs> <laughs> you have to edit this shit, I guess. Yeah, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So in order for me to get there, I, it's a couple of things I still need to change. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's a work in progress, especially with everything going on now. It's hard to honestly work out at home because for a lot of us, the gym became your safe haven. It became your way to get away from everything and to just relax. And that was taken from us. So it's hard to get that new that mindset into a new place. Um, trying to do workout at home, but you have to be open minded and willing to do that. So, what has been um, some of your favorite things to do while we're um, on this extended break from normal life? Y'all got to, don't call it that. Don't say you stuck at home. Just say you on an extended break. Extended break. So, well, what are typically with breaks doing? you ain't got to work? I'm still working. So. I know, I'm not <laughs> but yeah, my favorite thing has been to do is probably cook. Like. I, I love cooking. Cooking is my passion. Um, I love it. My mom taught me that. My grandma. That's my first love, cooking. And so I sit here while I'm working and I watch the Food Network and I just see new recipes and just trying different things, experiment. Cooking has basically, I I knew I loved it, but I have a newfound love for it since this whole Corona thing. And it, it's truly my passion in life. So cooking has been the main thing. Then I've been doing like little odd and things around the house, painting this and doing the yard, doing that, and just trying to remain busy and positive and focused. Um, and remember that things could be a whole lot worse than what they are. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's a dope, that's a dope perspective to have. So I guess as we wrap up our time together, do you have any lasting words uh, for anybody that might be kind of at the beginning of their journey or just at a point of frustration? What would you say to them? This is so cliche. I know I probably say this a lot, but this is the honest truth. What life has taught me is that you can truly do anything that you want to do. If you put your mind to it, it's, it, you can be unstoppable. So have your bad days, but just let it be a bad day and let it stop at that. And remember, hey, I'm entitled to a couple bad days, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be the end of it. So keep your focus and keep your mind, your eyes on the prize, so to speak. And remember, you can do anything that you want to do. If that's something you really want to do, you're going to do it. There's nothing to it. And that's it. And that's on period. All right, y'all. It's Cortez Man TV. Let's go.